non-invasiveness and time symmetry of weak measurements. Everybody knows the direction of time, from the past to the future. But would it be different if the time flowed backwards? The microscopic world is invariant under time reversal. If you invert the velocities, then the motion looks natural and is described by the same equations. In contrast to the microscopic reversibility, macroscopic processes are usually irreversible because of the second law of thermodynamics. Only the dynamics of equilibrium states is reversible. Let's focus then on microscopic or equilibrium systems. We gather information about the state of the system by measurements. A generic measurement scheme is a sequence of detector preparation, instant interaction with the system and final readout. Most measurements, even classical, are invasive. They disturb the system. This determines an arrow of time. But if we decrease the strength of a measurement, it will be less and less disturbing. Such a weak measurement is then non-invasive at the expense of a large uncertainty in the measurement. In the limit, we obtain the ideal non-invasive measurement. Imagine now a system in a stationary time-symmetric equilibrium state. If you measure non-invasively a quantity at three subsequent times, separated by T1 and T2, then the time reversal operation will be equivalent to swapping T1 and T2. Whether or not such a time reversal operation gives the same measurement results can be checked both classically and quantum mechanically. Both classical and quantum weak measurements are non-invasive in the limit of vanishing strength. But the question is now, are the measurement results also time symmetric? Surprisingly, we find that non-invasive measurement results are time-symmetric classically, but not quantum mechanically. This apparent time-reversal symmetry breaking is a new subtle and fundamental difference between classical and quantum mechanics.